Hey guys, it's uh, Future Candace here again. I am so pumped because today we are shooting another What I Eat In A Day video. I really love shooting these videos because it always includes all my friends and my dogs and all the yummy food that we eat. So today we are going to Good Rebel. We are going to shoot a bunch of videos. Um, we're gonna eat some yummy food and yeah, so old Candace and sleepy Candace, you'll see her in a second and she's going to start off the day with you. All right guys, I am going to hop right into breakfast before the day really starts. Um, I wanted to do a quick shout out to SandCloud, which is today's sponsor. Thank you so much to SandCloud for making this video happen. It works out really well that they are the sponsor today because it's going to uh, complement this smoothie. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about SandCloud in a sec, but first I want to make the smoothie and then I'll be able to share with you why I love their products so much. Um, I, in my freezer, just have some uh, bulk frozen raspberries, some frozen bananas, and some frozen strawberries. I think I'm just gonna do like a fruit smoothie. I just grabbed everything that I had in my freezer. Fruit's great because if it's going to go bad in like a day or two, if it's going to turn, just freeze it and you can use it in smoothies. <laughs> Well, it really wants to be included. So I'm just going to make like a berry banana smoothie with some fun additions to it. Yeah. Let's see if that even like blends properly. Get in there. Um, then some raspberries. Hold on. Make this a bit easier. There we go. I buy my frozen raspberries in bulk at a co-op. So it helps cut down on packaging, which is awesome. A couple of raspberries some frozen bananas. These ones, again, I didn't get to eat them fresh in time, so I just cut them up and freeze them, and then I use them in smoothies. Then you don't have to water down your smoothies with ice. There you go, a little smoothie hack for you. What else do I want to add? I'm going to add some hemp hearts and some flax seeds. You don't have to do this. If you happen to have them, use them. I like to include them. Just add some added protein and omegas to my diet. And another fun little tip, if you have ground flaxseed meal, as opposed to just the whole flax seeds, keep them in your freezer because they go rancid and go off fairly quickly. So keeping them in your freezer keeps them fresh for a lot longer because it would take me forever to go through all of this. All right, I'm just using whatever's left over in my fridge. So I have a little bit of this almond milk and then I will just fill up the rest with the soy milk. I like to use soy milk for some of these because it has a little bit more added protein instead of just putting like bland, I don't know, almond milk into my smoothies, which doesn't really offer much of anything except for a creamy texture. Let's start blending, and I'd like to add a little bit more water just to make it smooth as we go, but I think it's gonna be a pretty tasty little breakfast. All right. All right, smoothie's done. Pour this guy into my jar. And then I like to drink my smoothies with a straw, so I have this great little metal smoothie straw from SandCloud. It makes drinking a smoothie super easy. Mmm, it's like a tropical vacation in my mouth. <laughs> so, SandCloud makes these awesome straws. You guys know how I feel about straws. I like to keep them in my bag. When I'm traveling or when I'm on the go, I always have one um, in my bag because straws are bad for the ocean and bad for the environment. It comes with this great little pouch so that I can keep it clean and just keep it, you know, from touching other things in my backpack. Um, also has this little doohickey to clean it. So if I'm at a bar, for example, um, and I am drinking my cocktail and I just wanna go to the bathroom, clean it out really quick, throw it back in the, um, in the bag, I can do that. So it's super, St. Cloud's super on brand for me. Anything that we can do to help save marine life and the environment, I'm super down for. These guys are awesome. They make these great beach towels that are sandproof. So instead of, they have like, they're Turkish towels. And I guess when you, or when you use them and you lay them in the sand, like sand falls off it really easily, which is awesome. And 10% of their profits go towards saving marine life, which is awesome. So they work with a bunch of different organizations. Every towel purchase helps in our effort to preserve the beautiful marine life that inspired our beginning. A portion of profits are donated to foundations that support our mission. We thank you for your support. So cute too, this little tie guy, tie, tie guy, tie dye guy, 
and also like something more subtle if you're into something more subtle. So I love a company with an awesome mission to save the fishies out there. They also have a great water bottle as well that I love to carry in my bag. Definitely check them out um, and use hashtag save the fishies because it's so important. All right, I'm gonna drink this and wait for everybody else to show up and uh, yeah, let's get this day rolling. So apparently these are the chips from the One Chip Challenge. They're like ghost pepper hot. So, you know, <laughs> are you coughing? Sweaty. But, um, I the flavor. Like, I don't hate it. You know? It's it hot. creeps up on you. You're, yeah. You eat a couple and you're like, I'm fine. And then you're like, why did I do this? I Your face is red. It feels hot. But like, My lips hurt. Like, what's the point even? <laughs> like, it's raining. raining. <laughs> like, why are you? And now he's like cleaning the screen. Is that a screen or is yeah, the screen on the outside? Yeah, it's a, he's like squeegeeing the glass. But it's like full on raining outside. <laughs> Good thing he just has a bucket of water out there. So we're gonna head out to Good Rebel in a little bit. So I figured I'd feed us before we go. Um, so I'm just gonna throw together a quick little charcuterie board for everybody, it's a fun little snack. Um, I have some smoked tofu, some crackers, some like pickled items and uh, some veg. And that way we can just like fill our bodies before we continue working on this very intense but fun uh, work day. Um, so I'm just gonna slice everything up and put it on this board, which is super cute. Um, I love smoked tofu because you can just eat it as it is. You don't even have to cook it. It just kind of tastes like uh, halloumi almost, like an, a less salty version of halloumi. It just kind of reminds me of fried cheese. If you do want that fried cheese experience, you can definitely fry it and put it on a charcuterie board. So I'm just gonna slice them up. Just going to arrange everything else onto this board. Gotta make sure that we're getting our fruit and veg in. Can't just constantly be eating, you know, vegan junk food around here. I mean, we can. There's no label on this already. Didn't even have to do it myself. I mean, it's just us, so it doesn't need to be like super gorgeous, but I love when it is. What do you mean it's just us? We're the most important people. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. So these are amazing. And I know that these are gonna go super quick when we eat this. I'm gonna pick up some more Good Rebel. Oh, I need to put this on here somewhere. They have other ones that aren't vegan, the other flavors. And I've seen those in like more chain style grocery stores, but I think Good Rebel is the only one that has these. All right, so that is our charcuterie board. Just crapped <laughs> a carrot. It, honestly, that was really good. That was like a truffle. It's like a truffle black cheese or a black truffle cheese. Mm -hmm. That's. It's one of the best things I've ever eaten. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. that's really good. <laughs> I don't lie. Those Ritz crackers taste bomb. Right. All right, I've done my shop. I've got all the stuff that we're gonna try later and that we're gonna cook up, but I'm also here with the owners of Good Rebel, this Mercedes and Mo, and I just wanted them to have the opportunity to tell you guys a little bit about why you're here. Like, why Good Rebel? Why did you decide to uh, do this? And yeah. your story's really inspiring, so I'd love oh. for you guys to talk about that a little bit. Thank you. All right, um, Mercedes and Mo were nice enough to give us some sandwiches. So it's a Beyond Meat chicken sandwich on a Portuguese bun with, I believe it's barbecue aioli. So I don't actually have to cook lunch today, which is great. I was going to make a soup uh, from Soup Girl, but this is even better. And, oh God, the bread. These Portuguese buns are so good. Oh my God. It does taste like all dressing shirts. So this is the sandwich. This is our lunch, quick and easy. I love when people give us food. I love carbs. Mm. All right, that's pretty much it. So we can eat this and uh, go back to shooting. All right, we're wrapping a full day of shooting. Um, I'm gonna throw together just like a quick, easy meal that is pretty typical to what I eat on a regular basis. Um, I live alone. I'm just cooking for myself. So I'm going to uh, dive into one of these Beyond Meat sausages. I just thawed it in the microwave. Um, and then use some leftover stuff that's in my fridge. I'm going to roast some veggies using my air fryer. So I have some carrots in here that need to get eaten fairly quickly. So I'm going to uh, just toss those and um, this head of broccoli with some avocado oil and this um, 
spice right all-purpose salt free spice and just put it into the air fryer for a couple minutes it roasts things so beautifully and then that's it some protein some veg um, that's all I really have time for or the moot to cook after cooking all day um, and it's like good and I mean I don't know is it healthy ish <laughs> it's like a balanced meal I'd say um, yeah, so I'm just gonna chop this up and throw it into uh, this bowl with all the spices. Because they tend to shrink a little bit when you cook them, I keep them like a little bit larger than bite size. But if it's still too big, that's what knives are for. I always have some chopped up veg on hand. Um, I try to prep a couple things on like a Sunday or a Monday, so I have things that are in the fridge, super easy uh, to grab and go. Um, so I'm just gonna take the carrots and throw them in with the broccoli. I'm going to leave the cucumber because a roasted cucumber I don't think is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really measure things out when I cook just for me, so I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of avocado oil. Avocado oil is a great oil to cook with because um, it has a high smoke content, so it doesn't um, burn like a lot of other, or go rancid like a lot of um, other oils do. So I'm gonna add that, and then actually, I'm just gonna, I've washed my hands, so I'm just gonna go in with my hands and mix that around. I probably could have used a bigger bowl. I underestimated how much veg I was going to use here. But in the air fryer, it will circulate anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, this Spice Right Everyday Blends all-purpose salt-free spice. So in this guy is just like dried onion, garlic, black pepper, tomato, bell pepper, carrot, orange peel. It's just, it has a really nice flavor without having to add a bunch of different ingredients. So if you are pressed for time or you're not feeling up to cooking, something like this is awesome for your veg. So you can just top your veg with that, give it a toss and throw it into the air fryer. It smells really good already and I haven't even started cooking it yet. I'm going to do 390 for about 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to go in and shake them about five minutes. So I'm just adding that in there. And start. I am going to heat up a pan over medium high heat and just throw the sausage on there. I could also do this in the air fryer, but I want to eat. So I'm gonna cook this while that's happening. There we go. I'm gonna cook that for like four minutes on each side. All right, veg is done, sausage is done. I'm gonna plate this thing. There we go. Oop. Stay there with all your friends. Et voila. It's like the easiest meal ever. Fun little hack, if you have any leftover juices in the pan, just pour them on your veggies. Ooh, sausage grease. Okay, I... I'm going to eat this and uh, clean up and relax. This is like the simplest meal, but it's so tasty. All right, if you guys love these what I eat in a day videos, give this video a big thumbs up so that I know, and then I will make more of them. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on new videos every single week. Don't forget to check out SandCloud. I'm going to leave all of their information in the description box below. So if you're looking for some new straws or some really great beach towels, water bottles, Definitely check them out. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.